Recently, the City of Detroit Lakes voted 6-3 to three to move the Detroit Lakes Municipal Liquor Store to a new location presently occupied by our Burger Time restaurant here up Highway 10 in Detroit Lakes. Now this is a big decision by the City Council, perhaps one of the biggest decisions the City Council has made in a number of years. This is going to determine where the city's municipal liquor store, where essentially its cash cow was going to sit for the next 40, possibly 50 years. And it's being proposed to put it at one of the most premier downtown locations in Detroit Lakes made possible by the Highway 10 realignment project which was completed just a few years ago. Now the 6-3 vote was to move it to the Burger Time site. There were a couple other sites considered in this new uh, redevelopment district of downtown Detroit Lakes, but that was the one that the City Council put the most stock in. Now there are a couple issues with this new location. It is the most expensive of the locations, due partly because of its high visibility, I assume, and because of the need to buy out a business that's currently occupying the site. The dollar figure being thrown out there is $3.9 million, give or take, for construction of a new liquor store on that location. A good chunk of that money would be spent to, of course, acquire the property and the building there. After speaking with the managers of the Burger Time location here in Detroit Lakes, they have stated that there is an agreement tentatively in place between themselves and the city of Detroit Lakes, although they did not want to discuss the details of that agreement at this time and said they'd be much more liberal to be able to discuss those details in a month, possibly longer down the road. But they did reiterate that if that Burger Time location is sold, that they would be interested in finding another place here in Detroit Lakes in order to establish Burger Time still in town. But let's look at some of the issues with this new location potentially. Number one is the financial issue. Again, the most expensive of the options that the City Council was considering at $3.9 million, probably a half million dollars more than any other location the City was currently uh, debating about moving the liquor store to. So that's one issue I think citizens have some reason to be concerned about. Number two could be accessibility. Although with the stoplights there, it should be pretty easy to get in and out of highway, in and off of Highway 10 to the location. However, will there be enough space besides just one entry point and one exit point, similar to what we have at the current liquor store? I don't necessarily know if accessibility is going to be helped in this new location. Size is another issue the city of Detroit Lakes has. This new liquor store would be about double the size of the current liquor store, which would allow for more inventory to be on the floor. But the biggest point is that I really think it's right next to the Veterans Memorial Park. And I don't really like the fact that we're going to be building a brand new Veterans Memorial Park to honor those that serve things greater than themselves. When one out of every 10 resident of Becker County is a vet, and yet part of honoring that will be that we're going to build a liquor store right next to that Veterans Memorial Park. I think it sends a mixed message of the City of Detroit Lakes priorities to tourists as they pass through on Highway 10. And obviously it's high visibility, high traffic area on Highway 10, which means that's going to be the image most people have as they cruise through town. Liquor store right next to a Veterans Memorial Park. And maybe I give too much to that point. Maybe that's not that big of a deal. And maybe it is to some, and maybe it's not to others. But I do think that the city of Detroit Lakes should possibly look at another location if possible. At this point, we're probably well beyond that. But they only had one group do a study. And that group that did the study said this location at Burger Time is the most profitable. And I can understand if you're the city of Detroit Lakes and you're moving the city-owned liquor store, you feel like you have to move it to wherever you think it'll be most profitable.